you, you moronic little okay. whatever you are. I'm just so stinking angry. Oh, you were right there. Hey, good falls, and welcome to episode 47 of Mario vs. Donkey Kong. In the last episode, we did some plus levels, and in this episode, we're going to do what you decided. And anyway, today, is always, we're going by Mom. Hey. Anyway, let's start off with these messages. Hello there, it's me, Mario, and I'm here to tell you that you should subscribe to the Jax Junction YouTube channel. Thank you. So, let's look at the results of our most recent poll. And oh, um, okay, so uh, <laughs> seems we've got a tie here. In last place, we got plus levels, and tied for first first place, we got time attack and expert levels. Um, so uh, <laughs> how do we decide which one to do? Uh, but wait, before we before we decide, I just want to mention how cool it was, like. I was looking at this poll like a few days ago and it said that uh, expert levels was w winning. However, after I uh, posted this video where I said how how I was kind of complaining that no one ever voted for time attack, then all of a sudden time attack was winning and now it's tied. I just think that's so cool. People are actually listening to me. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna decide which mode we do with a coin flip. So, uh, Shamrock equals uh, expert levels, and three Shamrocks equal time attack, right? Okay, we got three Shamrocks, which means we're doing time attack. Let's do it. Am I in this one or no? No. Good. <laughs> Not good, I enjoy it, I do enjoy it. Ouch. No, I do enjoy it. I get nervous. All right. Oh, no. It's the ice world, which means we're going to have to do the super hard ice Kong fight, but fast. Wait, we just did this one. What do you mean? Didn't we just do ice world? Yeah, but this is time attack. Oh. Not plus. Okay. All right. That, there are no unique time attack levels. They're all just pre previous levels, just faster. Right. Oh, easy. And there's no mini guy? Yeah, oh, maybe not so easy. Um. There we go. Boom. Do you have presents to get? No. You just have to get the key? Mm-hmm. Huh. And there are two levels, though. There's a mini guy to get. Oh, right. I do remember. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> However, right, right, right. wait. Hmm. Okay. Not too bad. Ooh. Uh oh. It won't let me jump. That's so dumb. It won't let me. Okay, there. Oh, God. Oh, dang it. I was right there. Mm. Why are you sighing? You're not even the one that has to redo the level. Sorry. Just feeling bad for you. Oh, that was clean. <laughs> and I ran right into a wall. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, my dog is choking a lot I lately. Know. He's gotta get to the vet. No baby. Alright. He was just there, but he's gotta go back. He's gotta go back. Aw, oh, poor Plutie. Alright. Anyway, back to where we were. Mmm! Why did I do that? I ran right into him. So, because Pluto does hack on the channel a lot, and I just want people to know we are taking care of him. He's got a heart murmur, and it makes him hack a little bit when he eats and drinks, but he is seeing a vet, so he's being... He's being well cared for. But he has this little... 
Yeah, I think we he does. we we care for him. We're not. We don't. Yeah, not just, take care of he him. But he packs a lot, and it makes it sound like we're just. Lying. But he he goes to the vet regularly, and they're taking care of his heart murmur. It's just one of the symptoms. All right. No, this is so dumb. All right. No. Boom. Got it. Boom. First level done. And that was kind of difficult. Anyway, seven more levels to go. <laughs> and it's always so loud because he has to sit in the chair right next to Jack every time Jack's at his computer. Yeah. So he's right by the microphone all the time. Always, dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> he loves right. you. I know he That's loves me. But... You get in your chair, he gets in his chair. Oh, right. Such a good boy. Anyway. Remember, this is Jack's junction, so focus on he me. He doesn't know that, though. He thinks it's Pluto's junction. Yes, but focus on me, though. Okay. Because I'm cool. Not implying that he is not cool, but I'm cooler. Because I'm Jack. Well, he I'm still Jack. lets me call him adorable, whereas But that's not, not cool, though. It doesn't... Like, this doesn't help his case. Anyway, just play the game. Dang it! Mom, you distracted me. Will you stop blaming everything on me? I'm just sitting here. Well, here's the thing. If I blame everything on yeah. you, then less things will be blamed on me. Mm. You see, it's for the greater good. Okay. Anyway. Oh, no. Am I one of those people? Mm-hmm. Yes. Am I one of those YouTubers who, who like, all of the fans don't really root for... <laughs> <laughs> and instead root for the obscure side, si <laughs> obscure side character. Well, not obscure, but... And thanks, jeez. Didn't mean obscure. <laughs> like the useless person, isn't that nice? I did not say okay. useless. <laughs> we kind of imply that sometimes. Just well, stand there and look pretty, you say all the time. Well... Anyway, let's not do this. You have let's a not do this. <laughs> when, like... You remember when you always said how, like, anytime you move or... You, wait, did you say... I'm thinking but of something whatever else. Whatever it is, I'm better now, so... How... Okay. Dang it. Oh, God, how do I... Oh, that is gonna be... Yikes. The thing I meant to say was, like, you always say, Oh, why am I so bad at this game? And then I, as soon as I say, Mom, why, like, whenever I say, Mom, that was so, uh. I don't say I'm bad at it anymore, though. Because I think I've improved quite a lot. You're the one that keeps dying. <laughs> Viewers at home just know I got scowled at right there. You can't see his face, but I got scowled at. Right back here. Think I know what to do now? <laughs> so I... Jump up here. Mm -mm. Then... Oh, I was right there! Oh, oh, come on. I wasn't even looking at the time. This is like a good one. You're going pretty good. I bet I am. Oh, this is so much faster than usual. He was grabbing onto that ladder! Do you see that? He grabbed onto it. Careful, careful. Oh, careful. Right. I am being careful, Mom. 10 seconds. I mean, 20. I meant 20. I can't count. 10? I'm sorry, I can't count. <sighs> Good job. Alright. I know. <gasps> oh god, six seconds. Yeah, this is not gonna be it. Oh, I forgot! What? I was thinking that was the second half already. I was wondering where the little guy was. Oh, yeah, oh. that was bad. You need more than 20 seconds left. Oh. I'm sorry! 
hat. It's funny. If I would say any of these things, no, you'd be like, okay. geez, Jack, why are you being so mean to me? You always complain about my skills. I don't I don't claim to be a professional. You said you don't say you're bad. I said I'm not as bad anymore. I'm not as good as you are. Better believe it. Oh, God. I'm just okay, built go, different. Go, 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 go. Just go, 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 go. Just go. Can't you? Oh, you can't. Oh, boy. Go. You! Oh, crap. It was on the okay, ice. let's figure out how many seconds you gotta do this by. I don't even know. <laughs> kind of feel like some popcorn. Um, Sorry. I don't need this right now. I do. Hot and spicy popcorn. Alright. Right. You are joking me. Did you see that? He grabbed onto that ladder and just fell off it. <laughs> Alright. Boom. Boom. Got it. Boom. Boom. Okay. That is the best I've ever done. Alright. Alright, it is. Now. Now you know what you're doing here? Seems like a lot of things to do. You, Jeez. you moronic little, okay, whatever you are. I'm so stinking angry. Oh, you were right there. Well, I, I think I'm allowed to be angry there. I know you get so like, okay. You get mad at stuff too. Boom shakalaka. Come on. Somebody call that doctor. Oh, Jack. Okay. Three seconds even better. It was? Yeah. Okay, and three seconds can change a lot. It can. Okay, good. Boom. There are a lot of steps to this one. Grab it, you... Oh. Mm. But you did it, and you had, what, oh my seven God. seconds to spare? It's still, just, it's scary, the split yeah. second where... He's just not grabbing it. Yeah. All right. Wait, what am I even supposed to be doing? Okay. Boom. Boom. Uh oh, why? Mm. You, mm. Stupid, stupid moronic icicles. No. <laughs> Alright. And in the door, and we have 16 seconds to do the second part. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what is this? It's not impossible. It's not very possible either. Yeah, there, I died. Boom. My super cool skills just saved a ton of time there. Oh yeah. Look at me go. Look at him go. He's Jack. You! <sighs> so you just kind of have to wait, which I think is dumb. Like, if you're doing a time mission, like, why are there so many things that you just have to wait? Wait. Okay, I wasted a bit of time there, but I think this is still fine. This is fine. This is fine. Alright, oh god. And of course I have to wait again. Alright. 
You. Mm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. doing okay 10 seconds oh god there's there's just no way All right oh I was right there too it was right there there I didn't have to wait that time Good. you I don't, like, especially when the ice physics combined with speed just suck. Alright. Alright. Boom. Okay, now I have to make it back. Alright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom, five seconds wow, to spare. Wow, you did it with so many other things, like, yeah. What? With so many other things, what? Like, you just did it without, like, killing the little wispy guy, you know what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah, those you are just, just red herrings to get the oh. presents, I'm pretty sure, but there are no presents in oh. this mode. Like, there's a lot of red herrings in this mode, not, I don't, not even intentional red herrings, just because there are some things that you would usually need to do, but don't. Oh god, I remember this. This one took forever. Huh. So let's see, we need to... Okay. Okay. Um... Wait, where, where did I go? <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe I don't quite understand this. Wait, no, I do. Um, and now I think I'm... Okay, I'm just gonna retry this. I think I know what to do. But I forgot. I remember this being one of the hardest... Well, not the hardest, but one of the ones that took us a really long time to try and figure out. Um, I think, yeah, so Mr. Shy Guy over there is a red herring. Man, red herring, like, why red herring? Wait, is, is there no such thing as an actual red herring? Is that why I don't people know you call red herring? Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious now. Um, because that would make sense. That's why, like, that would make sense why it's called that. Anyway, ooh, this one looks so simple, but I have a feeling it's oh, not going to be. What? The term was popular popularized in 1807 by William Cobbett, who told the story of having used a strong-smelling smoked fish to di divert and distract hounds from chasing a rabbit. That's right. weird. Okay. Oh, come on. No, oh, it was right there. All right, that's a that's an interesting choice. I thought you were going to say uh to Stop hounds from chasing him, but just chasing a rabbit. Why yeah. a rabbit? Well, because they were hunting or something. I don't know. I didn't read the whole thing. Oh, was it his hounds that he didn't want chasing after a rabbit because the rabbit was going to go in a dangerous place, or was it? They were probably rabbit hunting, Jack. I don't know. But just do stop back him and from. Read the whole article? Yes, yes, I do. Oh, All right. <laughs> um. I don't know. That's all it says. Right. <laughs> you don't have to, I'm joking, but just I'm wondering to stop him from going after a rabbit? Because they were probably rabbit hunting and maybe the 
rabbits. There's no more here. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> There's no care. fish species called red herring. Rather, it is a name given to a particularly strong kipper made from fish, typically herring, strongly cured in brine or heavily smoked. Hmm, interesting. Come on. I got I got to make sure that this is a good educational channel. So if so if any any parents are watching their ch children watch my videos that they're like, "Yeah, this is a channel I want them to continue to watch." Right. Anyway, oh, I remember this one. Okay, then. Until 2008, the figurative <laughs> sense of red herring was thought to originate from a supposed technique of training young scent hounds. There are variations of the story, but according to one version, the pungent red herring would be dragged along a trail until a puppy learned to follow the scent. Later, when the dog was being trained to follow the faint odor of a fox or a badger, the trainer would drag a red herring, whose strong scent confuses the animal, perpendicular to the animal's trail to confuse the dog. The dog eventually learned to follow the original scent rather than the stronger scent. A variation of this story is given without mention of its use in training in the Macmillan Book of Proverbs, Maxims and Famous Phrases, with the earliest use cited being from W.F. Butler's Life of Napier, published in 1849. Brewer's Dictionary of Phase and Fable, 1981, gives the full phrase as drawing a red herring across the path, an idiom meaning to divert attention from the main question by some side issue. Here, once again, a dried, smoked, and salted herring, when drawn across a fox's path, destroys the scent and sets the hounds at fault. Another variation of the dog story is given by Robert Hendrickson in 1994, who says escaping convicts use, convicts use the pungent fish to throw off hounds in pursuit. According to a pair of articles by Professor Gerald Cohen and Robert Scott Ross, published in Comments on Entomology, 2008, supported by entomologist Michael Quinion, and, accept, and accepted by the Oxford English Dictionary, the idiom did not originate from a hunting practice. Ross researched the origin of the story and found the earliest reference to use during use to using herrings for training animals was in Tract on Horsemanship, published in 1697 by Garolyn Langbane. Langbane recommended a method of training horses, not hounds, by dragging the carcasses of a cat or fox so that the horse would be accustomed to following the chaos of a hunting party. He says if a dead animal is not available, a red herring would do as a substitute. This recommendation was misunderstood by Nicholas Cox, published in the notes of another book around the same time, who said it should be used to train hounds, not horses. Either way, the herring was not used to distract the hound or horses from a trail rather than the gu to guide them along it. The earliest reference to using herring for distracting hounds is an article published in 14, uh, February 14, 1807 by a radical journalist, William Cobert, in his uh, Polmickle periodical, Political Register. According to Cohen and Ross, and accepted by the OED, this is the origin of the figurative meaning of red herring. In the piece, William Cobet critiques the English press, with had, which had mistakenly reported Napoleon's defeat. Cobet recounted that he had once used a red herring to deflect hounds in pursuit of a hare, adding it was a mere transitory effect of the political red herring, for on the Saturday, the scent became as cold as a stone. Quinion concludes the story, and Cobet's extended repetition of it in 1833, was enough to get the figurative sense of red herring into the minds of his readers, unfortunately also with the false idea that it came from some real practice of huntsmen. Although Cobet popularized the figurative usage, he was not the first to consider red herring for scenting this <laughs> You know how far, look at how long this goes. I can't do it anymore. I can't wait for you to tell me to stop. No, I was entertained. I want to okay. know about Corbeck or Napoleon, somebody okay. like that. I think we've got our answer. Right. I don't remember what it was. But I Me neither, go. but <laughs> we got our answer. It kept going and going. I kept waiting for you to tell me to stop. No. Oh, okay. I was right there. Yeah, okay. Jeez, thanks, Mom. Well, I Your don't stupid know. red herring story. Now. Your stupid red herring you story. You told me. You started it. Oof. Well, winded now. All right. So, the whole dealio of this level is uh, the first one involves getting a certain key to that door. Well, like all of them. Like, but you have to go through that guy. And do a bunch of weird puzzles with yeah, certain I remember stuff. Yeah, we did this just the other day. This is the one I was in trouble for because I couldn't do it well enough. No, that that was a different one. Oh. 
It was bricks falling down, though. Yeah, but that's just a common enemy. That's not... Oh. Uh, it's not... Oh. What? Because you gotta do the next one pretty quick. Well, the next one is decently quick. Boom, boom, boom. I have a... Jeez. Boom, boom. Boom. Good oh, job. God, I almost slipped there. Hold. Anyway. Wow. Only one more normal level, then it's just DK and Mini. Hey awesome viewers, thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. Keep being awesome.